Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, my name is Amanda, and today I'm sharing with y'all my fall favorites. So I'm really excited about the things that I'm gonna be sharing. I'm sharing things from all different categories for fall, home stuff, um, a few different like outfit things for fall, uh, beauty, I think that covers it all. But I have things in all categories and I'm very excited about the things that I've come up with. So before we jump into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. And if you are excited about fall, which I'm so pumped about, hit that thumbs up button. So let's jump into the video. First off, today is very exciting because this video is in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Samantha and her channel is called Mama Approved. She is so cool. I've loved following her for a while now. She's got incredible content. She's got four kids. She homeschools them. She is a total like superstar mom. It's crazy. So she posts tons of great content on her channel. She does like grocery hauls, um, meal ideas, like planning ideas. Um, she does homeschooling videos, vlogs. Um, she'll post like baby girl clothing hauls because she just had a little baby girl, but she also has three boys. Um, let's see, she's like very knowledgeable about essential oils and stuff, which I really want to learn more about. I like am totally overwhelmed by the whole thing, but I love it. I just don't really like fully understand it. So she is like a great person to go to if you're like interested to like learn more about essential oils and stuff like that. Anyway, she is gonna be sharing her fall, fall favorites over on her channel. So after you finish watching mine, head over to her channel and check out her fall favorites. I will link her channel in the description below so you can check it out. All right, so let's jump right in. Okay, I'm so excited. I don't even, I keep saying I'm excited, but I'm very, very excited. I don't even know where to start. I have like a pile of like amazing products here in front of me and I'm like, where do I wanna start? I don't know. So the first fall favorite and I, I believe like an absolute must have is a really great throw blanket. So this blanket is gorgeous. It's got all these tassels. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm like obsessed with tassels and fringe and like kind of boho vibes. I love this like chunky knit blanket. It's super affordable. This is from Target. Um, and I will link everything that I can link in the description so you can check it out if you want to. But this is by the brand Opal House from Target. It's $34.99 originally. I actually got it on sale for, I think it was like $10 off. Uh, so I got it for a really good price, but it's so cozy and comfy. It's really big. And it comes in two colors. It comes in this like really pretty like cream off white color. It's like really big, you can see. And it's just so cozy. Um, and then it also comes in black. Uh, but I, my couch is so dark, I really wanted to like lighten it up with like lighter pillows and like the throw. So I really liked this color. But it is very like actually practical. Like sometimes I'll get pretty blankets that are pretty, but then I'm like, they're not very comfy to use. And this one is a really good one. But I feel like when I think about fall and it getting cooler outside, like I'm always cold. I'm just like that type of person. So I always want like something cozy to just like cuddle up with while we're watching TV or just hanging out or whatever. So this is like one of my absolute favorites. And it's just, look at these tassels. I mean, they're like big tassels. They're so gorgeous. And the only tricky part with like young kids is just like my Brody doesn't bother it. My son who's three, but my daughter Addison will sometimes pull up on the couch and try to like pull these. So I kind of just like keep them pushed back a little bit so she can't mess with them, but it's totally worth it. All right. Next from target is a dollar spot find. So here we go. So every year I get really excited to check out the Target dollar spot to look for some really cute like little pumpkins and things like that to set around my house. And what I've learned about the dollar spot game, especially when it comes to like seasonal items, is you have to be ahead of the curve. So obviously we're at the end of, or I guess today's September 1st, I was gonna say the end of August, but we are like all the fall stuff is already out. So if you wait until like October to try to like find pumpkins at the dollar spot, you've missed the boat you have to do it like right now so i went to the target dollar spot the other day and i found these and so this is the first little grouping i found this 
This was $3 for these four little pumpkins. And these are not breakable, which is good with kids. Um, so I plan to put like one of these like in Addison's little play kitchen and just kind of like decorate her little kitchen for fall. Um, put these on some shelves or my coffee table or whatever. But my whole house is basically black, white, and gray. So I liked that these were black and white. So very cute. And then, and they had a ton more than what I'm even going to show you. These were just my favorite. So this is the next one I got. This is a little ceramic pumpkin. And so it is breakable. Um, gold on top, white. And these were, the others I'm going to show you as well, these were $3 a piece. But I liked these a lot like my, for my front entry table where I already have breakable stuff. So it won't matter with the kids, stuff like that. Um, so I got this one. This one's my, that one's my favorite. Then I got this gray one. And so I thought like even setting a couple together would be really cute. And then I also got this black one. And so there we go, black and white, so cute. But they had the same ceramic one in like an orange. Um, I just didn't want orange, <laughs> but um, they also had a lot that are not breakable that are like soft fabric and they were like plaid. They had a lot of cute ones. So like last year, I totally missed it on trying to get some cute pumpkins at the dollar spot. I went too late and I never got any. And so I'm really excited this year to have a couple cute like pumpkins that match my house to set around. Whew, okay, this is so fun. How, like, I hope y'all are having fun. If y'all are, hit the thumbs up button. I am just like, let me know in the comments, but like I am so over the heat. I'm so ready for fall. Like here in Texas, it's still pretty hot. And so it doesn't really start getting cooler here until like the beginning of October or the beginning, I'm saying, I don't know. You never really know, till October is when it starts to get cooler. And so I just can't wait. Like I'm so ready for like, I don't know, scarves and sweaters and all the fall stuff. But anyways, so some of this stuff, like I'm gonna wait on my pumpkins. I'm not gonna put them out yet till a little bit later, like maybe the end of September. I just can't decorate for fall yet, <laughs> but I am really excited about the things I've found so far. Okay, moving along is more home stuff. I picked these up at Target as well, and these are the Miss Myers soap and the multi-surface multi um, cleaner. So I really like Miss Myers products. Um, I've bought a lot of their soaps over the years. They're great, they're some of my favorite. Um, and so I was really excited the other day when I saw that they came out with these like limited edition scents. So their Christmas scent, I'm like kind of going on a tangent here, but I get excited about like limited edition like holiday scents and so I, I for some reason like bought the Christmas scent that they did this last year and it was called Pine and I don't know why I bought it. It was horrible, it ended up being awful and I was like why did I buy that? I guess just because I, it was Christmassy so I had to endure through this whole bottle of soap that I really hated the smell every time I washed my hands but this one I'm very excited about. So this one is called Acorn Spice Scent and it smells so good it's not too sweet it's like cinnamony like the spice obviously is in there like all the different cloves and like the spices that you would naturally think of like but it just smells like fall it smells like Thanksgiving I don't know it's I don't even know how to describe it but it smells amazing and I'm very excited to like put this out and I like the color too because this goes with like all of my neutral like Obviously, I have black, white, and gray in my house, but then I also have like some browns and some goldeny tones. And so I'm actually like excited about this. Like, I refuse to buy soap that has like labels that are funky colors. I will not buy them. If it doesn't like go with the vibe of my house, I won't buy it. So I was really excited about that. And then I'm excited to try this um, spray, the multi surface everyday cleaner. And let's see, this is apple cider scent. And it smells literally just like it sounds. It smells just like apple cider. And so I'm just really excited to use this and make my house smell nice and fresh like, I don't know, apple cider. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Okay, moving on from that stuff, I'm gonna show you one more thing. I think it's just one more thing I got at Target. Okay, 
I picked up these shirts. So this shirt is like, I'm gonna show you. This is the blush version. This is kind of like a cream, oatmeal-y color. You can see it's like the texture. It is, let me scoot down. It is so soft. These are like, I'm gonna live in these shirts this fall. They are $16.99, very good, like everyday price. Actually, one of my favorite bloggers I follow like that does fashion and stuff, her name's Leanne Benjamin, and you can follow her on Instagram or wherever, but she's got a lot of great, um, just tons of great content and she posted about these shirts and I was like so pumped because I saw the way they fit on her and I just like loved it. So you can wear it just like normal like this. You can like pull it down off the shoulder and it looks cute too if you like like that look. But these, um, they run like they're kind of a flowy top. So I just got my normal size and let me see if I can kind of show you. They're like kind of long in the back and I just did like a front tuck but you could obviously like keep it untucked and it's like flowy I love like the sleeves how they go down a little bit longer anyway I am obsessed I loved this blush color it's gonna be so cute for fall and then they also had it in a white and black but I used to like only wear black and I've been really branching out lately and wearing like a lot of like neutral tones and blush colors and I'm obsessed. So I think these are like perfect fall shirts. Okay, moving on. The next thing that is a total fall favorite of mine, been eating this for years, is this. Pumpkin butter. So it's basically just like apple butter, but pumpkin butter. And this is my favorite brand. I buy this at Central Market, but maybe they have it other places. I don't know, you'd have to look. Um, or they probably carry it at HEB since they're like the same company. But I think this is the best one. And apple butter is like my favorite year round thing that I would put on like a biscuit or toast or something like that but pumpkin butter is so good. And let me say, I do not like pumpkin pie. So I love pumpkin bread, I love pumpkin, like chocolate chip cookies, um, but I'm not into pumpkin pie. And I don't really like the flavor of pumpkin pie and I don't like the texture, but this is like really good pumpkin stuff. Like it's almost like the spices and stuff in it would remind you more of like a pumpkin bread. I just think it has better flavor and it is so Oh, yummy and this is one of those things that every fall I like look forward to and I can't wait to go get it so that I can just like put this on toast and biscuits and I don't even know what else but it's so so yummy I'm obsessed okay so the next thing is this lip gloss uh, I say lip gloss it's like a liquid lip so it's what I'm wearing today you can see the color and it's by Morphe and the color is virgin. It's a liquid lip so it like lasts for a long time and it dries matte so it's not shiny. I said lip gloss earlier. It is not a lip gloss. Um, but I am obsessed and I think this is actually a really great nude color for fall. And Morphe is like so, I'm, I'm sure you guys know this but it's so affordable. So it's like $7 I think for this. It's a really good price and they sell it at Ulta. They have Morphe stores. Um, I saw one at the mall the other day. Um, I don't know where all they are, but um, Ulta is like a great place to find this. Um, that's where I got mine. And I think you can actually, if you get enough, because this isn't prestige, so I think you can actually use a coupon at Ulta for this brand. But anyway, I think it's like a really good neutral. It's not like too dark. Um, Cause some people like, if you're not, you know, if you don't, if you're not brave enough to wear like a really dark, lip for fall i feel like this like nude is like perfect um but it's not like bright or anything like that but i actually still wore it through the like whole spring and summer it's like one of my really it's one of my go-to lip colors but i thought i would include it in here because i really do think it's like a perfect fall color all right next i'm gonna share with you a couple of candles then we're gonna move on to some clothing items that i picked out that i know are gonna be just like absolute staples for my fall collection and just yeah i'm just gonna live in them so they're gonna become my fall favorites <laughs> so this morning i went to bath and body works and picked up a couple of candles very excited like i love fall candles i love when your house smells just like yummy and like kind of like baking but not too sweet and like spices and all that kind of stuff and so i am fully out of candles 
they were having a candle sale, so I decided to go pick up a couple. And so I smelled through all of their new fall scents. And um, there were some good ones that I liked, but I, these two were my favorite by far. And so the first one I got, this is another thing too with candles. Like I won't buy a candle if it's like hot pink on the outside because I'm not gonna put that in my house. So I was also limited because I only want it if it's like white, gray, black, or gold basically. <laughs> it's like crazy, but that's just how I am. So this is the first one I got. It's cinnamon spiced vanilla. It smells so good. This was one of my favorites. I love like vanilla candles. I love stuff like that. Um, but I don't like when candles smell too, too sweet. And so this one is like just a perfect blend of cinnamon and like the spices and vanilla. It's not like, it doesn't smell like, they had one that was like pumpkin pecan waffles or whatever, and it smells good, like very sweet, but like straight syrup and stuff. And I'm just like not really into that. So this one is a really good one and it's just like a really basic, simple container. And so this one I think is one of my favorites. And the lady there said that this is one of her all time favorites when it's burning. She said it smells really good. So I got that one. And then this was my other like fall favorite out of the ones that they had. It's called Welcome Home. It's a really pretty container, the gold and everything like that. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. And this one smells so nice too. I, I have a really hard, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like spices and sweet and fall, <laughs> like what you would expect. Um, they did have one that smelled really good called flannel. And I love the idea of that because I actually like, I know it sounds silly, but I'm obsessed with wearing flannels. Like I have far too many in my closet, but um, it smelled really good. It was very strong. It smelled like men's cologne, which I do like the smell of for sure. But I just thought for fall and having like out in my house, I just wanted some like really yummy, sweet candles. And so I'm really happy with these. Okay, moving on to some clothing items. So I went to Nordstrom Rack the other night. I was looking for a dress for our family or like Addison's one year photo shoot we just did. And this is what always happens. I go out, I like looking for something specific and then I find all kinds of other things that aren't really like on my list. But this was kind of on my list. But I decided to get this because I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna disappear. So if you have a Nordstrom Rack close to you and you want something like this, I would like go now. They actually are having like their, I don't know how long it's lasting, but they're like red clearance event sale thing happening. And then I was surprised to see how many like jackets and sweaters and things like that they had. Um, tons of jackets. Like I kind of feel like sometimes they do it in the off season. So I was surprised since obviously we're headed into cool, cool weather. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on that, but they had tons of jackets and I like don't have a jacket. It's kind of great. This isn't really a jacket. I'm just saying, but like, I don't have a jacket. So that's one thing like, um, that's been in my head is like, okay, I really need to get a jacket this year. Um, cause I usually kind of always am like cold, but I'm like ultra picky <laughs> about what I want. So, um, you know, it gets cold in Texas, but like you can survive without a jacket. Whereas like you can't, if you lived up North, obviously, but I end up wearing just like a sweater and a scarf and I'm kind of cold, but then I just get inside and it's not a big deal. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going on a tangent, but I'm just trying to explain the problems here, but I, I fixed the jacket issue and I'll show you that in a second. But. Anyway, so last year, I don't even know why I went on that tangent for this pullover because it has nothing to do with this, but last year I was obsessed with these like Sherpa pullovers. I think that's what it's called, that people would wear. Obsessed. And I wanted one really bad, but I couldn't find one. Like by the time I was like, oh, I want to get one of those, all the ones I liked were sold out in my size um, or they were just more than I wanted to spend. So this, the other day, I felt like I totally scored. So it is just like an ivory pullover with like a little quarter zip here. And it's got like a little like leather um, pull, really cute. Here is the brand, never even heard of it. And it is beyond soft. It fits perfectly and it is just so cute. It's not like oversized or anything. So it actually like, 
just looks nice on you it's not like huge and it was $34 so really good price all the ones I saw last year were like 60 and I was so pumped so I'm telling you like if you are into this kind of thing and you want something like this run to Nordstrom Rack because they had a bunch at the one where I live um, by where I live and I'm sure they will sell out really really fast but I'm telling you like this would be so perfect to wear to the pumpkin patch with jeans or um, to wear with like even leggings and tennis shoes so cute all right so then again I was the other day I was trying to go find a dress I was like in total crunch mode trying to find a dress for Addison's shoot and was not finding any dresses but I found this stuff <laughs> So um, it's all stuff I needed. But the other thing I really was hoping for for fall is a cardigan. So just like an open cardigan like that. Doesn't like connect or anything. And it's just really like simple and neutral. And I love it. It's the BP brand from Nordstrom, um, which is a pretty, it's like a, an affordable brand. There's some little like pockets on the side. Uh, I don't know if you can see that kind of hard to tell but it's just a really pretty cardigan so I get like super picky about cardigans because sometimes I feel a little bit like a grandma if it's like I don't know some styles I just don't feel like are as flattering but this one was like a really pretty one and so I thought for like layering this fall with jeans and boots or whatever this would be like really really perfect so I thought this was a good find and very happy with this for fall and then as I was saying, I like do not have a jacket. So I have one leather jacket, which like isn't even warm. It's like a cropped kind of leather jacket. It's actually a nice one. I bought it when I was 17, which is crazy. So that was like 12 years ago. And I, that's still the jacket that I wear if I'm like really cold, but it doesn't match everything. It's a little bit dressier. It's black leather. It's got like lots of silver zippers on it. So I really this year was like hoping to find a good deal on a jacket that was like warm and a little bit more casual that I could just wear like every day of the fall and winter. I'm just always cold, like I said. So I just feel like I actually really needed a jacket. So I found this one at Nordstrom and it was such a good price. It was like in that same like kind of junior side. So it's not like the expensive side of Nordstrom, if that makes sense. But I will link it below, but it's so cute. It's like this quilted material it's gray it's got these like little gold buttons and then it's that same kind of like sherpa material on the inside and here is the brand what's it called thread and supply there you go and it is so cute like i'm like obsessed look how cute this is with like the little fur on the inside I just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like literally live in this all fall and winter. So I feel like this is definitely gonna be a favorite of mine and definitely a necessity. I, I can't believe I've gone so long without a jacket. It's actually like mind blowing. Here is another fall favorite. These are some little booties and booties are like my all time favorite. Um, I got a pair of like black Steve Madden ones. Was it last year? or two years ago, I don't know, but I have worn them non-stop. Definitely got the money's worth out of them. And so I really wanted to get like a tan pair. And so I have to say with these, this isn't what I thought I was ordering. So all of the bloggers and all the fashion people posted about these booties and they all have them in like a light tan. And they've been sold out at Nordstrom for a long, long time and then all of a sudden they came back and I thought that's what I ordered. So when they came in and they're like kind of like a gray color, I was like a little like, oh man, cause I wanted like a light tan. So I am gonna exchange these for the light tan ones whenever they come back in stock. I'm just gonna hang onto these and swap them out um, because that's really what I wanted. Um, since I already have black, I actually kind of already have a gray pair of booties. Um, I don't love them, but I have some. And so I thought that the light tan would be like a perfect completion to my collection, but I am obsessed. So I love like the pointy toe. Um, they're just so soft, very comfortable. Um, just when I've kind of like worn them around here, they just fit like a glove. So um, I am super, super excited about these. I'm just kind of bummed that 
they have been sold out like forever and that they still don't have them in the right color that I'm wanting. So this is the color, this is the Foxy Suede and the color I'm wanting is the Tortilla Suede. And so um, I think they're called the Gigi Etta. I think that's how you pronounce the style name and they're by Vince Camuto. So sometimes with like booties, you kind of invest a little bit of money into them, but I think it's worth it. Like I said, with my Steve Madden ones, I, I got those with like some Christmas money or something like that a couple years ago and I have worn them so many times it's not even funny. Like I wore them the other night to dinner. I still wear them all of the time. So I think if you can kind of invest into a couple of nicer things like that that you're gonna wear for like years that aren't just like super trendy items, I think you'll be really happy that you did. So I know I'm gonna just live in these all fall and winter. And since it doesn't really snow here, like I don't get super worked up about like like boots like that that are kind of suede and stuff. I guess you could like spray stuff on them, but I don't have to really worry about the weather like that like you would if you lived in the snow, I guess. All right, and the last thing, I got these for my birthday, but I haven't worn them yet. Um, that is an absolute fall favorite are these pants from Lululemon. So again, sometimes I think it's like worth it if you can invest into some like nicer items that you just plan on wearing like every single day. I'm gonna just live in these. Like as a mom, especially a stay at home mom, I'm not like, I don't get dressed up that much. So um, things like this are just what I live in on a daily basis. So my favorite pants, I've shared this before, but my favorite all time pants from Lululemon are the Align pant. It feels like you're wearing nothing, like they're high waisted, they are seamless, like they fit and feel so nice. And I've got multiple pairs of those that I'm absolutely obsessed with, that's what I work out in. But these are the Align jogger. So they're, they are high waisted and they're a jogger. So there's pockets and they are kind of baggy around the leg and then they're tight around the ankle. I'll insert a picture on the side so you can kind of see how they fit. But um, I just got them in black. Like I said, I got them for my birthday and I'm so excited about them. Um, it's just been so hot here so I haven't even worn them yet. But these with some little like sneakers or vans or something like that and a sweater or pullover or t-shirt, I mean, I'm gonna just live in these throughout the fall to be like comfy and casual. And so I feel like you need like a really good pair of joggers. These are a tighter fitting jogger, I will say that. So when I wear joggers, they, just because of like the way my body is, like they don't look great on me. I usually end up looking kind of sloppy. Um, and so it's perfect for like around the house if I just wanna be comfortable. But if I were to go like running around, it kinda of looks like I rolled out of bed. So what's great about these is that they are a little bit more like tight fitting, but they're still loose around the legs. And they're just a little bit more flattering for my shape. Um, so I'm so excited, I'm so excited for these. And I feel like I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna just live in them. And with tennis shoes and thermals and all kinds of good like fall stuff. Okay, wow, I feel like that was like a lot of stuff, but that is everything for my fall favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it like gave you some good ideas of things you could go pick up. Um, if you're interested, I, I think the things I'm like most excited about, like the little things are like these t-shirts, obsessed, like for the price, such a great, great thing. Um, my little pumpkins from my from the dollar spot. I'm so pumped about and this throw blanket. Oh my gosh. I just am absolutely obsessed with this thing. I'm telling you get this throw blanket. So I'm really obsessed with everything, but those like sometimes just the littlest things bring you the most joy. These little pumpkins. I'm just so excited to have some cute little pumpkins finally. So, um, yeah, that is it. I'm like, Whoa, I'm like amped up because I'm ready for fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And um, don't forget to go check out my friend Samantha's video of her fall favorites. That's what I'm gonna go do is watch her video and see everything that she is sharing. I love getting ideas from other people about things that they're excited about for fall so that I can go get those things too, you know? Head over there to Samantha's channel, give her a subscribe, leave her a comment, tell her that I sent you. And um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, I will put my handle down here so you can head over to Instagram and follow me there. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.